please do subscribe the youtube channel wikinot foundation and click the bell icon to receive notifications of new uploaded videos hello friends it's sujit wag you are watching wikinot channel today in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the basic differences between microprocessor and microcontroller based system but that is with related with practical applications so with me i am having the laptop as well as the microcontroller based system so we are going to compare it in practical manner so let's start so dear friends i have already written the basic differences between microprocessor and microcontroller on the board i have written some parameters on the left hand side on which i am going to compare the two systems so take down the snapshot on the left hand side you can see i have written certain parameters on which on the basis of which i am going to compare between microprocessor and microcontroller so the first parameter is the block diagram observe the block diagram carefully microprocessor based system has cpu ram rom serial com timers input output ports these are the all the different peripherals and they communicate with the your cpu of the microprocessor system but in case of microcontroller all the things cpu ram rom timer serial com and input output ports are present on chip so just i want to show you the microcontroller based system so this is your microcontroller which consists of all the things inbuilt onto it but if you compare it with the laptop laptop do not have all these systems inbuilt onto it so for example laptop your desktop pc microcontrollers microwave oven washing machine digital camera next the operating frequency it starts with 1 gigahertz or 2 gigahertz or 4 gigahertz and in case of microcontroller it only 1 to 300 megahertz the ram which is available in microprocessor based system 1 gb to almost 32 gb but in case of microcontroller it varies from 256 bytes to 256 kilobytes so you can see the difference between the ram and your ram is going to decide about the processing capability so obviously the device which having maximum ram size will have the maximum processing capability the microprocessor will have more processing power as compared to the microcontroller next is the rom that is pro programmable read only memory and the storage is almost 500 gb 1 gb or 2 gb even we can also interface the external hard disk with the laptop but if you compare with this microcontroller it's just 4 kilobytes to 2 megabytes again there is limitation as why there is limitation in case of microcontroller because it is present inbuilt into the microcontroller next the size the microprocessor based system are 32 bit processor or 64 bit processor but microcontroller starts with 8 bit 16 bit as well as maximum up till 32 bit microcontrollers also are available the power consumption obviously microprocessor system will require more power as compared to the microcontroller the cost that is very important factor the cost is up till 20 from 20000 to almost 1 lakh and here it comes with just handy that is rupees 150 to almost 500 or more based on your application and the application in which the microprocessor is used microprocessors are used to watch video internet surfing uh, playing games or creating documents in case of microcontroller microcontrollers are dedicatedly used for particular function so in short you can also define about the microcontroller so microcontroller based system is defined as any computing system other than desktop pc or laptop which performs dedicated function for example digital camera which will only capture the image and will store the image into the memory card so if you compare microprocessor and microcontroller obviously microprocessor will have upper hand as compared to the microcontroller so now we'll see some examples of microprocessor microprocessors based system are present in the laptop or desktop pc 
Intel is one of the leading manufacturer for the microprocessor. Also, it provides the architecture for microprocessor based system. For example, 8085, 8086, 80386, then Core2DO, Pentium processors, i5U, i7, which are the recent microprocessors present in the modern laptops. Examples of microcontroller systems are Arduino, PIC microcontroller, 8051 based microcontrollers. Now the question comes into the mind, what is present inside a smartphone? So inside a smartphone there is neither a microprocessor nor a microcontroller but a system which is used called as system on chip whether in that system the DSP processor the graphic processor as well as your CPU all are present and multiple cores that is multiple CPUs are present. Hope you like this video. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Happy Wiki Noting. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more such videos. Please like and share this video with your friends. Also refer my website wikinote.org. Follow us on our Facebook page Wikinote Foundation. The links for the same are provided in the description box below.